don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Happy New Year folks. Um, uh, it's a bit of a chilly one today. Uh, we've had frost and a tiny bit of snow over, over here in York. Not as much as Tony in Little Farmer's Farm. He's had quite a lot of snow but in York we've had a bit of snow but not too much. Just a little sprinkle but most of it sort of disappeared yesterday but there's some on my beds. So we're down on the plot but <laughs> can't do anything. It's frozen solid so I've just come over here just to give you a quick update and see how things are and see what the pot's doing. I'm in my, my shed. The shed of... Um, I suppose it's the shed of death really because it's got dead critters inside. Hey, I like doing it. It's interesting, you learn stuff about the critters that you do. So, learn all about their anatomy and their skeleton structures and how thick some skins are and how thick and how thin some skins are. You never know. So, let's go take you uh, for a wander around the plot. It's a bit icy. I don't like ice. Uh, we had a horse milk delivery the other day, so I've topped up my uh, uh, bins. Um, I will be taking some out in March to uh, just to sprinkle over the raised beds that need it. When I pull stuff up and I'll sprinkle the horse, the rotted stuff. Yeah, I've got some real rotted stuff in the bottom. And so what I do is, I don't know if you've ever been on my channel, but I have these three compost bins full of horse muck. They are literally, I don't know if they're on the last legs, but my friend was suggesting to get some more pallets and re redo these two and possibly that one. That one seems to be holding up quite alright, but these ones have been on since I first got the plot so they're probably about eight years old because I've had the plot over eight years now and I've rebuilt this one a couple of years ago but these have been like here since the beginning so they are starting to feel the strain of manure every year but they're still holding up so I'll leave them as they are Bobby's around somewhere, I've just heard him. Uh, I've got my black compost bin which is only for uh, plant waste and stuff. So I have like a plant free compost without manure in it. So it's like proper com proper plant compost. So I've got mixtures. So um, usually if I don't go to the shop I just take a bit out of there to start some of my seedlings off and when they get a bit bigger I sometimes take a, a bag out of there for them to mature and sometimes mix the two up a little bit but yeah oh, I can see Bobby you can't really see me in this light it's too bright I still haven't got the uh, through cage sorted it's still flopped but it's just the weather and conditions um, I've got some leaks. I've caught loads of mice, so I've even uh, managed to taxi day me one. I'll show you it if you want. I'll show you it. Yeah, I still need to sort that up. Winter cabbages are looking okay. They're not too bad. Um, yeah, I've still got some beetroots in and winter veg that I've been that I pick on now and again. Yeah, um, those winter cabbages in the bottom half have been munched. Tried to keep on top of them, but yeah. And I had rocket in here, but it seems to have died off. Um, I've got some backup runner beans. Brad beans, sorry, Brad beans, not runner beans. What am I on about? What butts are frozen? I don't know about the tap. I don't know the tap still works. It's just the tops. Um, I'm surprised that the <laughs> global artichoke's still about. And yeah, uh, the wet weather is now frozen. Now the puddles are all frozen and when it fr when it defrosts it'll be very, very wet. 
But the good thing about a wet plot is in summer I don't really have to walk that much because all the wetness is still in the ground. So underneath it's still really wet from the winter months. So I don't have to water as much. Apart from those beds in there which have a line underneath because there's bindweed in that fruit cage. At the moment it's dead. I actually kept on top of it last year so it didn't get horrendously bad and overtake. So if I keep doing that neck this year it won't overtake. Here's Forrest. He's not impressed. He wants to go. Forrest, aren't you going to say hello to everyone? Come here. Stop being a miserable bugger. There he is. He says hi. Happy New Year. Hey? You're bored now, aren't you? I've been gluing some, trying to glue some skulls together. So, so, yep. And I do have a project that I, at home that I want to show you when I've finished it. It's not finished yet, but when I've finished it, you'll get to see it. It's pretty cool. I had a dream, and I thought, had this weird dream, and I thought, you know what? I can do that. I'll try that. And so far, it's working all right. So yeah, uh, <laughs> the shed of death, the taxidermy shed. Um, yeah, this is one of the mice that I caught in the trap. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't turn out too bad. I'll take the pin out when he's fully cured. I should leave it out for the rest of them to um, beware. <laughs> or else you'll end up stuffed. So yeah. Oh, my sister. Oh, godsend. I used. I do want. Um, uh, what's his face? Tony from. He changes his name, but he does has have a system where he burns wood and stuff to like boil his camp kettle well my pot's so wet and to try and find wood and material it takes quite a while and I'd have to store it somewhere but I don't really I could make the storage space but it's a bit of a hassle so my sister kindly bought me this for Christmas which I was very very pleased about it's a camp stove and I'm very happy with that because now I can have a hot drink on here um, she did, she's did. she got one as well on her pot um, so, uh, uh, so she bought like loads of gas canisters a while back for it she bought it in bulk as she does so we thought of sharing it so I've got two gas canisters up there and uh, I've got my little kettle that I found from a skip so that's recycled and I've got my little cups and I've got some tea bags tea bags there with uh, an, a failed mouse don't leave them in the water too long they, uh, they lose the fur that is bad taxidermy I'm gonna take the eyes out and get my eyes back and chuck that because it's not very good not happy with it and uh, my uh, my uh, bun, my skeletons that I want to create are under here. That is a stoat skull. It needs its teeth glowing in. Um, it's the stoat that I've got in my room. And this is a hedgehog that I found. I'm doing that. I've got a hedgehog, but I thought I'd try and do another one. And give it, um, try and get it built up. Yeah, I've just got random stuff. I do have like my plant feed, which I think is it's got two furs in it, so I do have my plant feed. I do keep certain things I I do actually sort some plants out in here, so I do use my do use this as a garden shed. So that was just a quick tour. Um quick update. Oh, another update is um I've got Managed to volunteer to get a volunteer job at the 
community furniture store. I've also been having help from the mental health team because um, uh, I've been having mental health issues with all the stress of the tribunal. Um, it's affected my mental health quite bad and I've had real bad, bad thoughts and they've helped and they also managed to send some of my details over to this other lady who helps with Workside to help with your CVs and help you apply for jobs. I know that's kind of what the job seekers should do with me but um, I'm not, I don't know, he's alright, he's the chap who helps me but he's not, not that great because she's actually really helped me with my CV and it looks really good really impressed and so thank you Lizzie if she's watching um, so she's helped me with my CV and we looked for some jobs the other day and we found a, a, a star a stock assistant a star assistant one of those jobs at a shop called Aldi in the UK um, um, so I've, we've, she helped me apply for it and I actually got some feedback yesterday to carry on with another half of the application. So I've got to answer a few questions and hopefully they'll ring me and see if I get an interview. So touch wood that I might get one. If not, I'll just keep looking. Hey, <laughs> Dog conflict happens. He's a big softy, really. It doesn't hurt anyone. So anyway, that's all I've got to say. Um, that's my news. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers who came over from Tony's uh, live stream. Thanks for that. And on that note, um, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you like the content. And we'll see you in the next video, which should be my secret project, which is a secret and you'll find out when I've finished it. So on that note, bye for now.